guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 34 of Sora Online Alicization War of Underworld. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm gonna wait. Because I got a question. Okay, question. Didn't they talk about the goddess of creation before in the first half of the season? Or was she in, in the first opening that they had, wasn't she pictured in the, like, towards the end of the opening? I don't remember. I mean, I watched something, and I think they said something about her. I'm not 100% sure, because this was, like, months ago. So, mm -mm. So let me know, she just gonna disappear again, ain't she? And then she gonna be like, yeah, I'm coming back in about like three episodes, four episodes, five episodes. And then also, dude from Lack of Coffin, we all know he ain't dead dead. He gonna come back. For some weird fucking reason. I mean, for last week's episode, I was like, oh my god, it was sick. You down there, fucker. No, he coming back. Like, some way, somehow, some bullshit reason. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, not surprised.
picking the number one weapon. It's complicated. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh my god, Alice, stop! I knew it was so Oh god. I didn't want this to happen, but it's happening. Because it's better for you to just talk it out instead of fucking art and like fighting with swords, goddammit. So just hear her out. <laughs> Oh my, Alice, oh my god. <laughs>
No, honey, we're actually serious about this. Hey, you're so cute. You need to know you want that, right? Hmm. Yeah, but is it possible that one of them could be, like, a traitor? I mean, I'm saying it's more the, like, maybe the guy on the left than what's his face because we've known him for so long. And with the dude with the blonde-haired guy, like, it, it, we've barely known him. And it's not going to be plainly obvious like other things that I've seen. It's probably going to take a while to figure it out.
Yeah, and plus it'll probably be spoilers, right? Because, you know, reasons. Okay, so let off now, you. Okay. Yeah, after that, that thing is probably like out of commission for a while. God, that means more people are going to die. Shit. Okay, it's like Well, Alice, you're in for a long story. <laughs> well, <laughs> Girl, what what is that? <laughs> Still, that's not enough. <laughs> He's so cute. Yep, welcome to the harem. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! There is going to be a blooper about a horror. Har <laughs> oh my god, stop! Oh my god.
I mean, you want something to drink, something? Because like I said, it's a long story. I can't. Oh my god. This is <laughs> oh my god. Finally. There we go. There we go. There's still something in the goddamn way. There is always something in the way. This is like, oh my god. It's like the last freaking episode of season one when he finally got there and then she woke up. She was there waiting for him. He's oh my god. <laughs> oh, they flipped rolls again, and I can't. Jesus Christ, like, this is too fucking much, but oh my god. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Oh my god, we ain't even gotta do any more waiting. They're together, and that's all that fucking matters. But even though he's like, he's there, he's not still there, I just still want a fucking episode where it's his POV. I want to know what the fuck is going on with his mind, in his mind, what he sees, ish like that. I mean, yes, we've talked about it a couple of times, but to me, it's better to see it than to talk about it. That's all I want. <laughs> it would have been so much better, but I feel like what they're probably going to do is when there's a moment when Kibito, the moment when Kibito wakes up, that's when he's going to go ahead and just tell everybody, oh, hey, this is all what I was experiencing when I was like this, where, you know, I was still there, but I was not there. I just, okay. So I'm glad that she's helping. We also got to thank God that Uncle didn't die because, you know, we would I would have been crying knowing myself because, mm. <laughs> but I mean, there's so much that's going on, and it's just like, whoa, motherfucker. But I still think that, you know, the potential goddess that Asuna is supposed to be, she had to be in the fucking, not the not this intro, but the other intro that came out, the very first one for the first half of the show. But I don't know, I mean, I just, I'm like, I, I can't, I, I'm processing everything, but then at the same time, I'm just thinking about the fact that these two are finally together again, like, oh my god. But the fact is that there's also a traitor among them. I'm not really surprised about that, because I had a weird feeling, and the only one who I can go on is dude with the blonde hair and the glasses. I don't think, um, Akihiko Kayaba's, uh, former girl, oh, fiance? Yeah. Um, would be doing anything because why? I mean, that would make no sense. So right now my money is on dude with glasses until like we maybe get somebody else brand new. Now, if we get somebody else who's brand spanking new, then it's like, ultimately you could possibly be the traitor. But with these characters that we've already met ever since this, the dang first half of the show, I literally have no clue who could be a fucking traitor. And it could be very obvious. And at the same time, it could not be obvious, but I don't know. It's someone who, <laughs> I'll say it like this, it's probably someone who I've looked at a couple of times and I've never maybe thought he or she could be a traitor, but then you never really know because this, th okay, hold up. This is what I'm going to say this compares to. The freaking first season of Sinfo Gear, when I found out, this is minor spoilers for people, if you have seen Sinfo Gear, yeah, we're going to talk about it. If you haven't, just skip until I'm finished on talking about it. With the big bad of season one, I never would have thought it was the person who was, like, uh, potentially good. Freaking Fine, whatever her, uh, Roka, whatever the fuck her name was, um, before her, we found out she was Fine. I never thought that until there was one episode when she had her hair down, and I was like, okay, you look pretty. But then when they showed Fine as a blind, and after I was done with the episode, I went, I sat here. Like, while I was editing for a couple of minutes, and I was sitting here thinking, and I put two and two together, and I was like, no. I was like, no, 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 no. But in the back of my mind, I was like, no, that she's got to be it. And then when it happened, I, w I was still surprised, but then at the same time, I wasn't surprised. It's probably going to be something like that, but it's just, right now, we just don't know nothing. It's just you got to really look at everybody who's around them. But I, I don't know. And probably we may not even know until next year. Because who knows how many other episodes we have left before this goes on break. Really, almost anything. I don't know. God damn it, I'm scared. <laughs> but hopefully next week, for the next following episode, nobody dies. I don't really want anybody who 
is like who who has a big major importance in this second half of this arc, which it seems like we're getting into the second half of it, um, to necessarily die because we've had so many people die in the last few episodes, and I'm like, God dang, I really don't want to see anybody else go. But I, I can in the back of my mind, I'm like, I don't know. Like I had this weird like feeling just sitting there and I was like, yeah, there's going to be more people that are going to fucking die. And I'm not ready to see characters die again and like get, and get emotionally invested in someone and fucking cry all over again. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you to this episode 34 of sort of online alicization horror of Underworld. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 35. Bye, guys. Thank you.